January. All right, our top story this morning. Mobile vaccination units will be going live this morning in southeastern Massachusetts, making it easier to vaccinate residents along the south coast. Good morning, Providence reporter Scott Cook is dedicated to covering news in Massachusetts. He's live for us in Fall River with more on this new program. Scott, good morning. All right, well, let me tell you a little bit about it actually then. Hold on just one moment, please. Well, these mobile vaccinations are gonna go live in southeastern Massachusetts so that they can vaccinate the residents. Up to 500 doses of the J&J &J vaccine will be picked up by the mobile vaccination team each day from the Heinz Convention Center and be driven to a different location in Fall River and New Bedford. The program will be up and running for eight weeks and residents can sign up using the state's portal. Doses will be picked up by the mobile vaccination teams at the Heinz and then distributed and administered in these communities. Most of these mobile units and pop-up clinics will set up in city parks, parking lots, and other places that are easy to access for community members. The mobile units will be stocked again with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because it's easier to transport and patients will only need one shot. some 6,000 doses per day at the Heinz Convention Center mass vaccination site for eight weeks as well. Also in Massachusetts this morning, the state is expanding its list of pre-existing qualifying residents for vaccination. Starting today, any Bay State resident 16 years old and 16 years and older with one pre-existing condition are now eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. According to the Department of Public Health, ailments like type 1 diabetes, dementia, stroke, substance abuse disorders, and HIV infections have been added to stay up to date with federal CDC guidelines. Eligibility also expands today to anyone 55 years old and older. And Rhode Island officials are warning of a potential fourth surge as variant coronavirus cases continue to rise. Doctors say it's mostly from people letting their guard down and they are worried that things could get a lot worse, especially following the holiday weekend. Good morning, Providence reporter Laura Puglisi is live for us in the newsroom with more on that. Laura, good morning. Good morning, Doreen. Officials say there's good and there's bad news. Well, the good news is that more people are becoming eligible to get vaccinated 